Big shakeup in the race for the open city council seat in Harlem. Two of the three candidates just announcing an alliance, Al Taylor and Yusuf Salam, endorsing each other in the ranked choice primary election. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell explains the potential impact tonight. With four names appearing on Harlem voters' ballots, former Manhattan Borough President C. Virginia Field shared her support for the two men. Now that's my candidate, but I also am very pleased about this cross endorsement. This is just the second election in which voters will rank their preferred candidates on the ballot. If you're talking about like mindedness, Assemblyman Al Taylor and Yusuf Salam of the Exonerated Five believe by banding together in blue suits and bow ties, they can beat former seat holder Assemblywoman Inez Dickens. It was so profound that we were thinking very similar thoughts, even though we had some differences. But we were able to come to the table early on. Incumbent Kristen Richardson Jordan's name will also appear as an option, although she has withdrawn from the race. Small businesses need support. The economic growth of Harlem needs to be re revitalized. We need to make sure that we have housing. So I'm running on the issues and not any individual. Their message focuses on hope and change, saying Dickens had her chance during the decade she served District 9 in council. I think about the opportunities that she has, has failed to bring forth even up until this day. She could, she could have done that a long time ago. The men chose to make their announcement in front of this mural that was started during Dickens' previous city council term. It has remained incomplete since 2011. The painting features Harlem leaders like Judge Bruce Wright, who Taylor credits for giving him a second chance. The Dickens campaign acknowledged she allocated the funding, but she had no control over the mural's completion and questions the limited details of her opponent's proposed policies. In my previous conversation with her, the assemblywoman spoke with confidence about her chance to win. I don't assume I'm going to win, but I always feel positive about a race when I'm in it. Cast your vote in the primary election and, and June 27. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And if you have a story you'd like to share with Jesse, you can send the details to harlemtip at cbs.com.